Hey, thanks for watching another quick tutorial. Um, today we're talking about using After Effects to do motion tracking um, for sky replacement. Um, and so in this tutorial, uh, what I've created is a basic sky replacement where I've taken this scene and I've kind of made it look like there's a dramatic uh, cloud formation in the background using real video motion tracking. And I'm gonna show you guys how I did this. Um, and we'll go from there. So the first thing I wanna do is create a new composition. Call it MoTrack Tutorial. And I'm bringing the original clip, which obviously looks quite a bit different. Now I chose this clip um, to do this simple sky replacement, obviously because there's nothing in the horizon, there's no trees or anything that we have to get a little bit more precise with our sky replacement for. So this is kind of a good introduction on how to do this. Um, so what I'm gonna do is trim my clip to match and my work area to match the clip length. So I've got my clip here. Um, go in, we're gonna track the camera. It's gonna initialize and then it's gonna go through frame by frame. Okay, so that took about a minute to do it. Um, I also have some other programs open, um, but it might take you about the same amount. It's 221 frames that were tracked, and we can now see all of these points, track the points. We talked about this in the last tutorial. So I'm gonna find one way out on the horizon. It's gonna be a little bit tough. You don't actually have to track this. You can actually do the track manually for the sky. I know it's gonna be a... Um, a steady pan, but I found a knoll out there and it stays pretty well tracked throughout the clip. So what I'm gonna do now is create a mask for the sky. So we come in here, do this, and under the mask we're gonna make sure it's inverted. All right, so just like that, we've gotten rid of the sky. And then I brought in an image, and you might wanna do some searching to make sure you find an image that's got kind of the same perspective. You don't, you don't wanna have one from like a 747. Um, you wanna make sure that uh, you're bringing in something that kind of has that horizon view. So I brought this image in um, below, and I need to make it three-dimensional and it looks weird right now, but I'm gonna copy the tracking data from my null, and I'm gonna paste it into my sky replace. So that makes it very small, but we need to scale this way up. We need to make sure that we have a high resolution image. I'm gonna hit A on my keyboard, because I don't wanna change any of my position data, but I do wanna change the anchor point. And this is, a, this is gonna allow you to still slide this image around in your scene without interrupting any of that positioning data might need to go back and double check to make sure you didn't do anything to it, but now I'm gonna go up to find that horizon, something like this, and I'm gonna go ahead and scale it up even more. Because I need to have some relief on either side as we make our pan here. So something like this is uh, pretty good right there. And I might actually do a little rotation of just one minus one just to match it. Okay, so now we've got our sky in. We've got it tracked. It's moving pretty well already. And then the only other thing we need to do is we need to go into our mask and we're gonna feather this a little bit to kind of give us that horizon. All right, and then we're also going to expand it into the negative, so now it's gonna crawl up. It's gonna give us that, that, that normal kind of horizon view that we see. Um, so already I think that looks pretty decent, but it also looks extremely fake. So the other thing that we're gonna add is a tint. And we're gonna do this to our existing video clip. And normally you can map the black and the white to different colors, so what I wanna do is, I'm gonna take the darkest portion of this and make it my black. And actually I want it to be a lot darker. Almost black, but a little tint of blue in there. 
and then I want my white to be one of the lighter colors in here. Actually, I want it to be a little bit, a little bit of a blue, a blue tint to it, so we're getting there. Okay. So that looks kind of probably overpowering. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the amount to tint, mess with that a little bit, and you can kind of mess with these until you, you start to see, you know, sort of a a balance between the two. Um, in the sky replace itself, I'm going to change the opacity just a little bit. Um, sorry, I'm going to actually change the curvature of this. In color correction, just type in a curve. And I'm going to kind of soften up the layer a little bit. Or you can darken it. I can make it look much more intense looking if I wanted to. But as you'll notice here, I mean, I'm basically just going to try to balance out these two. So I've got that. Bring the highlights way down. And something like that. And obviously you're, you're, you're not going to see that in that background when you actually export it as long as you don't have the um, alpha channel set. So don't worry about seeing that right now. But uh, let me make this a little bit darker. So you're really just going to play around and try to balance the scenes. Um, when you like where you're at, you can just kind of like pre-comp everything. And then you can add you know, stuff to the whole scene. So let's say you want to go in and you want to make the whole scene look a certain way. Um, let's make sure I'm on my uh, RGB channel. Looks decent. And I'll add a little hue and saturation to it. And we can kind of do a master saturation desaturation. Change the master lightness if we want. Um, and then the only other thing I think we can do to the whole thing is add a vignette. Um, and that just kind of puts the attention, takes away a little bit of the edges. So that's what we've come up with. Um, kind of a dramatic, you know, if you're, if you're into making your own independent films or if you want to actually take this and create a really vibrant sky for your scene and you know maybe the opposite is true our footage might have had a really dull um a, a really dull sky not a really blue sky but a really cloudy sky and you want to make it a, a, a very blue sky you can do that as well so this is just kind of a really quick tutorial on how to do sky replacement there's a lot of other tricks out there and we'll do a more advanced tutorial on how to do this but that's enough to kind of get you started. Uh, feel free to ask any questions if you have them. Thank you.